Hi, let me show you how to do this today. Can you see it's a beautiful way to showcase a particular term which could be a brand name or the name of a person who has won something. Let me show you an alternative. Here is a dark background and white colored font and look at the effect. Isn't that beautiful? Now, the thing is, once you understand the basics of what we are about to show you, you can come up with your own variations and take it to any level you want. So the next time you want to make an announcement of a winner or you want to introduce a brand name, then you can use this simple but effective technique using PowerPoint Morph. So let us jump right in and learn the technique. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide. Let me start from scratch by writing my name. And let us choose a thicker font. In this case, I am going to choose something like, say, Amasis, or maybe I can go down and see if there is anything else which is thick. Maybe Barlow condensed black looks pretty nice. So let us increase the size of the font like so. Now that looks like a pretty decent size to have. Then let us go to align center, align middle and keep it right in the middle of our slide. Then let us create a duplicate by pressing Ctrl D and let us change the text fill. So let us go here and go to shape format, go to text fill and say no fill, go to text outline and you can use dark outline, whatever color you want to choose is completely up to you. I'm going to choose a weight of around two one by four points. So the outline is very clearly visible. Now, let me show you a simple trick. Let us say you want it to be a little more nuanced and you want to have a darker outline at the top and the bottom one to be pretty much transparent. You can do so by right clicking and let us go to format shape, go to text options because we are talking about the outline for the text here. Then go to text outline and say gradient line for the text outline. Now the moment I do this, you can see that we have a nice looking outline here. Let us go to gradient stops and let us remove all the unnecessary stops in the middle. We just need two stops. The one in the left extreme, we are going to use dark colored outline. And then the one at the bottom, the second stop, we are going to have white colored outline. And this white color is the color of the slide background. So that is the reason why I've chosen that color. And I can increase the transparency all the way to 100%. And now you can see that there is a very different effect to this. Now, if I want to move the gradient stop, I can move it to the center and then I can move this to the center and you can see we have a very different kind of an effect. Can you see it's pretty simple to achieve this kind of nice effects. And when I place this over here and send this to back, you can see that it looks almost like this second one is arising out of the first one. So you can come up with your own creative variations. Let us go to text outline and say solid line. So let us keep things simple. I'm going to make some more duplicates of this. We've got one copy of this one with just the outline. Now we need five more. So I'm going to press control D, two, three, four, five, six. So those many we have. So we are going to put the three of them down. So let us select everything by pressing control A and ensure that they are distributed vertically so there is equal spacing between them. So this is going to be the final destination. Now, let us create a duplicate of the slide. Then let us select everything by pressing Ctrl A and then let us choose align center, align middle. So everything is stacked one behind the other. Now let us move this as the first slide. So I'm going to click and move it to the top now, this is the first slide and then the second slide looks like this. And then the third slide can be the first slide again. So I'm going to create a duplicate and then I'm going to place that as the third slide. And then let us select the second and third while holding the shift button. Go to transitions and say morph transition. And let us go to the first slide. Let me show you how the effect looks. This is the first one. And then this is the second one. And then this is the third one. So that is how the emphasis is placed on the main term. Now to make this happen automatically, all we need to do is to go to the second slide and let it advance automatically after zero seconds. 
Where did I get this option? I went to transitions tab and here in the advanced slide option, I just checked this option and said after zero seconds. You don't really have to do anything else. Now, when you go to the first slide and show the term like this in the slideshow, you can click and start the effect. This is the morph transition where the outline has appeared and then it has gone back to its original shape. And this is how we show the first effect. Now, let me show you a variation of this. Again, it's a very simple thing. Let us duplicate this slide and then let me move this over here. Now, I want to keep just one text in the filled form and the rest of them to be in outline. I'm going to have this in a darker colored variation. So let us go to home, then go to select and open up selection pane. So it's much easier for us to recognize what we have here. Now let us select the first one and see if it is outline or the main text. I'm just going to pull it out to see it. It is an outline. I don't really want to disturb it. So let us put it back to its original position by pressing Ctrl Z, which is the shortcut for undo. I'm going to click here to make it invisible. Then let us select the second one. This again is an outline Ctrl Z and invisible. And this is also an outline Ctrl Z invisible. And I'm just looking for the one which is not an outline. So we can change the color of that. Let us try this one. Yeah, this is the text with filled color. Let us press Ctrl Z to keep it back in its position. Let us change the text fill. Instead of black color, let us choose white color for this. Let us go to show all. For all of the elements, let us press Ctrl A to select all of the elements on the slide. Let us give a text outline of white. Then let us go to right click, format background and choose a solid fill of black color. Now we have the darker version available for us. Now let us go back to the second slide that we had done earlier, copy and I'm going to paste it over here just to save some time. Now we know that this center one is the filled colored one. So let us go to shape format, make it as white color. And then for all of the elements here, we are going to have the text outline as white color. And then let us change the format background to black color. So now we have the second slide done where the outline separates from the main slide. Then let us create a duplicate of the slide. And this time I'm going to keep this all the way to the left. So let us go to align left and then let us go to the last one and say align right. Now you can move these elements a little to this side and let us select this one and move to this side and let us do a little bit of adjustment. It is all up to you. We are going to have this happen properly a little later. Let us select everything by pressing Ctrl A and say distribute horizontally. You can see that everything is properly arranged. So this is the next version. So after the outlines separate vertically, they are going to distribute themselves like this. In this case, you already know that there is a morph transition and the slide is going to advance automatically after zero seconds. So whatever are the characteristics of the second slide are inherited by this one as well. Now let us go back to the original one by right clicking and say we can do duplicate slide and move that as the last slide. And let us apply morph transition to the last slide and that is how the final effect looks. So let us go to this slide here, go to slideshow and see the effect for yourself. On a click we have the lines separating and then they reorganize themselves like this and then they come back like this. Isn't that beautiful? Now if you see I've kept things very simple. And to my mind, that is what creativity is all about. And to be creative, you need to know how to work with PowerPoint the right way. You need to have a strong foundation of the program. And then you need to find different ways to work with the program so you can come up with your own creative variations. And that is what we teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. The link to this program is available in the description box below. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.